Hi all. I am back with Hunt Aerodynamist free hub service after 15000 kilometers of using it. I already pulled out the parts. You can see the sleeve going around the axle and the free hub already greased and a little sleeve and the washer going behind the free hub. And you can see on that picture the free hub the three poles in it. So they all greased up. So it's ready to go back into the wheel. So this is the ratchet on the wheel. I already uh, degreased it a little bit of for uh, WD40 on a piece of cloth to stop any degreaser going into the racer. You can see the racer there. So I wiped it with the degreaser then applied the grease. Uh, now I'm going to put this little piece at the back of the uh, prehub and you put it there and turn uh, anti clockwise is going to set up very quickly you don't have to use any other tools then i got the axle uh, grease a little bit light grease you can see the threads at the one end and put him back going through very easy don't have to tap or do anything All right that's in then you have to tie him up from the other side so i didn't pull out the what you call this uh, uh, this side of the wheel and uh, just first we have to do the hand tightening and some people actually remove the disc to avoid a decrease contamination i think we can do it even the sprockets on uh, sprockets means cassette on the wheel can do that i think I have, next time i try that so hand tight then actually you need 17 mm cone spanners to tighten up so there's a 17 mm hold it put it there get the other one put it in the other side and tighten up not very very tight probably about they say like 7 newton meters you know just to tighten up to all these seals otherwise you are uh, the water can go through the seals so that's a pretty easy job uh, i think uh, it's not hard any man can do if they have the 17 mm uh, cone uh, cone tightening uh, spanners pulling apart the free hub exactly the same procedure in reverse and if you like this video please subscribe and give us likes thanks for watching